Is it you? Why did you like to go back to the cage, bro? Oh my Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya versus Alex Portan Pereira. Oh my god. What a fight. A technical fight between two kickboxers, young. Uh, so good at their game, huh? But in this fight, I actually had easy winning by decision. But as you know, Alex Pereira, even though he hasn't been in MMA as long as Easy, his power, his his knockout power, his left hand made the equalizer of this fight. So let's go through rounds one to five. Because in round one, I think um, Easy did pretty good. He basically both were, re were reading each other um, they were filling out each other's rhythms but throughout the fight i can see that easy was doing real really good damage with his one twos you know well, boom he he was he was catching his hands to um to land here uh, to land his straights and Pereira was just calm calm and collected um round two i give that uh, so round one i gave that round to easy round two it was more or less the same um but Throughout this fight, I can see that Easy was trying to take down Pereira, but wait, Pereira besar gila. He is a really big uh, middleweight, you know. He looks like a freaking heavy, a light heavyweight. And when Easy tried to take him down, memang susah gila because dude, this that dude is built like a freaking tank ah, Poatan. Poatan is built like a tank. So Easy was trying to get him down, trying to do those trips, but. Um, it didn't went his way sangat so he stayed on defense is on point um, but I think um, I give that round to Pereira because even in round 2 I think Pereira he managed to um, to do uh, a takedown on Easy but round 3 whoa Easy's takedown game was on point that round Easy controlled him I think for like 4 minutes uh, like throughout the round uh. and he was doing a really good job and Alex looked Gassed uh, to me, I think he looked gassed. Um, so, um, round round four, round four. Uh, basically the same. Easy was touching him up, but Pereira was still losing on points. And round five, this round I was scared because I did I did not understand why Easy likes to go back to the cage. Jimmy Mouse could go back to the cage and like try try to slip his punches. And with the guy like Poa Tan with freaking dynamite in, in his hands it's so dangerous guys much um i was scared every time he went back to the cage to to do his slip maneuver much um he um he's been doing that with success uh, with success against with the and costa but with a guy like um Pereira, it's really dangerous and master that round five started i knew that easy was winning on points but i check out ah uh, this could be like another leon edwards versus usman fight because this is why I love this spot so much. Anything can happen, you know. Like, Easy Easy was winning on points, but for a guy like Poa Tan in round five, knowing that he's losing on points, his corner Glover Teixeira to check up, knock him out, go all out, and that's what Pereira did. He went aggressive mode. He he went he went all out uh, in the last round, and Easy as the same. He went back. To his cage, he went, he went, um, um, he went back to the cage to to slip and dodge, but this time Pereira made did a lot of volume and eventually Easy got caught. Ah, uh. Easy got caught. Boom, and the left hand. Boom, staggered, jumping around, dancing, smooping into, and the fight was stopped. Uh, but to me, guys, I think the fight was stopped pretty early even though i know a, a lot a lot of people say that it it was a good stoppage and all i mean i i understand uh, but to me the the fight could have went a little bit longer because you know it, it wasn't like he he was eating like uh 10 10 or 30 shots and un i mean he was still moving but still um i respect the referee's call and and the judge's calls model because you know um, even though it was an early stoppage, I understand maybe Easy should have been in that position in the first place. You know, stop going to the cage with a guy like Poatan who has really good kickboxing accuracy. But I did you got Master during the fifth round. I think um, uh, Poatan hit him on the peri perennial nerve, so Easy 
he um he he like fell down and did and, and did a flip so i think that played a factor in his um get, getting caught uh, because he, he he said it himself easy he said it himself that um he was trying to stand himself back up on the cage so maybe that's why but he's been doing that the entire duration of the fight it was really scary and you know um you you can't just stand in front of these you know bangers you know it's like eventually if you get caught it's gone but still i think that um that was a really good fight Te technical wise now Pereira Poatan is the new middleweight champion of the world um is 3 and 0 against easy that's freaking crazy he's like the ultimate hater he won in against um he won against easy um first time in, in kickboxing decision second time brutal knockout mma even though he's been training for like skijab joa relatively new in mma but he's he beat easy again he's, he's now the world champion uh, two out of the three nigerian kings got knocked out in the fifth round in the fight that they were winning it's crazy but my um my opinion still stands i think that the fight was stopped prematurely uh, it was an early stoppage but i understand um uh, if, even though if even if i think that it was an early stoppage um i think that easy should not have been in that position in the first place for early stoppage to occur because you know you, you get hit you get hit uh, fair play gg to poatan um yeah but that's the thing um to sum to sum up this fight um easy was fast and sleek he, he was doing damage with those one twos he was doing real good i think port i think he hit portan after the bell in round two which i'm dd you know but um even though portan he looked gas copper in the end who wins the fight you know that's what matters but to sum up this fight i think to sum up this fight is like George Foreman versus Muhammad Ali. This Teddy Atlas, he said it so well. It's like George Foreman versus Muhammad Ali. You know, George Foreman was a heavy puncher. Muhammad Ali was the sleek and fast puncher. And I think Easy tried to do the rope dope, but this is what happens when you get caught with a power puncher like Portan. His left hook did it again. His left hook is freaking dynamite, and you know, you get caught. But Tua, Easy, why? Did you like to go back to the cage, bro? Oh my god, I mean... To, to go back to the cage and slip punches, you have to be very precise. And to, to do that against a guy like Portan that you've been fighting for the past two years. And he is one of the best or the best kickboxers on the planet right now. Because I think he's a double weight champ in middleweight and like heavyweight in kickboxing. And Portan, he cuts a lot of weight. He was so big for middleweight which um, is crazy um, uh, for him to be at the weight they, he cuts like from 99kg to 85kg so memang uh, that weight advantage um, sorry uh, basically that size advantage helps um, but still you know wins the wins GG uh, it was a good fight um, but I like Easy. he's he's taking um, he's taking the loss like on the chin he, He's like really respectful. He said, "Oh, oh, that's okay." He dared to be great. Um, he he fought a fight that um, could cause a lot of memes, you know. But you know, it was a good fight regardless in terms of the technical. Um, but I think Easy should have used more of his wrestling because uh, what I saw in round three, um, Poatan is not really comfortable. Sangat Easy was doing was was easily uh, ground, ground and pounding him and taking his back uh, but um, it's, it's weird why he he didn't go for the chokes or much uh, but maybe Portan since he's been training with Glover his his defense has been quite good on the ground but I think if Portan even though he's like the world champion right now he hasn't really fought a good wrestler so I think who would cause a problem for uh, Portan in the future is like Marvin Vittori would be a really good fucking fight, guys. Marvin Vittori, he has a chin and he has good wrestling. Um, so I think a good wrestler might might be hard for Poor Tan to uh, to fight. That, uh, that, 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 would, that would be a good matchup for him. Uh.
But for right now, I think Easy deserves a rematch because of his dominancy for like the past what three four years. One loss, hey, that's okay, man. Um, but Tua, I had Easy by decision, but I know how dangerous Poatan is and how Easy fought with with going back to the cage. Um, it's kind of risky, but you know, no risk, no no reward, and he just got caught, and that's okay. But for me, I think that the fight was stopped. Uh, it was an early stoppage, but you know, hey, that's okay. GG, it was an early stoppage. Uh, easy should have been in, been in that position, you got. So hey, that's all right, man. Is is the fight game? That's why I love this sport so much. Um, but yeah, give me your your opinion um, on the fight. The fight was crazy. The cut was crazy. Yeah, so. Hey, that's about it for me guys thank you guys for watching do like subscribe and peace and do comment below who portan should fight next or who easy should fight next so, yeah i know i know the rematch is gonna happen but just give your thoughts and opinions on that who would be a challenge for portan all right thank you for watching like subscribe and peace okay just for me not being biased let's just watch the final secrets together because i really think that it was uh, early stoppage but you know uh, fair play, but let's just watch it together. Boom. Okay, got him. Okay, doing nice, doing nice. And he goes back to the cage. And yeah, I was like so scared because he might get caught. Because Easy is clearly winning on the strikes. Boom. Boom. That uppercut. Boom. Running back. Boom. That left hook. Boom. Boom. Easy's, Easy's trying to hold on. He got caught again. He's still standing, he's still cautious. He falls down, okay, boom, boom, boom. Then, yeah, the fight will stop. Um, even though I think that it was a good stoppage against a guy like Pereira, I think he should have at least, you know, got knocked out. Uh, because I've seen, like, if you saw, like, the Pat Berry versus Chet Congo, the, the dude was out on his feet, but he still got, got a comeback. Uh, he, he, he got a comeback. But for this, um, to me, I think it is an old solid pitch, but Easy should, have, should not have been in that position in the first place. So, you know, fair play. Um, I mean, so I think the ref did a, did a, did a good job uh, because maybe Easy was out, out on the feet. I mean, the secrets was like so short actually because it's not like Easy got dominated like 20 strikes um, un, unanswered end. Okay, boom, left hook. Okay, 10 seconds. Da, 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 da. Da, boom, right, that, that, that right hand made Mark got it go in. Uh. But, to, uh, to me, Easy was still conscious and everything, but you know. Fair play, fair play. Oh, so that's about it. I just. <laughs> Yeah, I just wanted to show that I'm not an easy hater because I like Poor Tan too, but that just should have been like a good a good knockout to me. But you know rough stoppages, right? So fair play. GG got a new champ.